Got him. Whoa. Would have been a drag that one. <laughs> Worked through the bay across that other point and just come up to this point here. And this guy clunked it. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Currently up in Queensland at Lake Kanongwa, Kanongbra, something like that. It's one of the kayak only lakes um, near Brisbane. It's stocked with bass and bass are one fish that I've been wanting to catch for ages. Um, so yeah, I've been kindly donated a kayak for the day. So just getting a couple of things organized now. The lake looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there. So I think when you're kayak fishing, you have to keep it fairly minimalist. So just got myself a set of pliers and cutters. Uh, I wasn't sure about leader, so um, I'm starting with 15 pound. I brought 20, I bought 10 lure selection. Um, I've got some spinner baits. So just a selection of Frogger Juniors, smaller Vortex spinner baits. Um, but from all reports, the lure to use has been blades. Um, so I've got one rigged up. I'm just going to use one of the new TT switch prawns. They look awesome. I love the fact that they've got those little assists on there, which should be a great thing for getting a good hookup. Um, the rod that I'm using, I've gone with a three to six kilo. This is the TT Black Mamba seven footer, 10 pound braid on an ITX 3000. Like I said, I've got that 15 pound leader, fire tiger switch prawn went with a brighter color because it's early that was my thinking one important thing that i think you always have to remember when you're kayak fishing is bring water bring a snack because for some reason i guess because you're exerting so much energy paddling um yeah i always get hungry when i'm kayak fishing so let's get this kayak in the water and get out there probably the first thing i've noticed is how clear the water is it's amazing and like beautiful lily beds and so we got out here early the lake opened at six um, just got the sun coming over the horizon now well first impressions of the lake it looks absolutely awesome um, apparently this time of year with the bass uh, they've gone from like being in those winter schools and they're starting to move up on the edge because we're in that early springtime. So just come across, there's a big weedy point in the area that I'm fishing. And I think I'll just go in close to start with, work along that edge um, and yeah, see if we can find some bass doing that. spot it's sort of got the lily pad bed there and it seems to be a weedy slope and then it sort of clears off as it gets deeper you would think they would be hunting along this edge I guess there's two ways you could approach this. You could either go in against the edge and fish back out, fish up with the contour, or like I'm just sitting off the edge a bit because I figure then at least I can throw a few out deep if I want to. Oh. 
Oh, holy dooly, did that absolutely drill that. <laughs> oh my God. Has he got me in the weed? He has got me in the weed. Wow. <laughs> that absolutely drilled that. And it is like quite a small bass, but holy cow. How can you hit it that hard? It's been a while since I caught a bass. And this guy, he is like on the small side, but holy dooly, did he just smash it. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we've got one on the board, beautiful Queensland bass. They are such a cool fish. Oh, thanks for coming, dude. So cool, whether you're north or south, how hard our native fish hit lures. Surely there's going to be a few more along here. try going to a black switch prawn just to see I can always go back to the brighter one but I thought it might be nice just to like with the clarity of the water and now the uh, sun's up a bit more we try the darker color and it's got like some nice hot spots but I think that black silhouette is very important particularly when it's clear It up on the drop that one. Oh, what have we got? Beautiful bass. So sick. I reckon it's you know when you go to a new location, you're fishing for a species that you don't fish for much, it doesn't really matter the size of the fish that you're catching. They're super fun. Hey, 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 just let us have a look at you. Awesome Queensland bass, and those assist hooks just pin perfectly. <laughs> He's got one in the top and one in the bottom, so that he was never ever getting away. Hey, little dude, they're actually <laughs> they're actually quite a grumpy fish, and you check out the size of the eye. They definitely use that to hunt. Oh. Awesome, big white eagle there. So cool. He's carrying something. I don't know what it is. It must look like a rat or something. been letting it go down to the bottom like most times but I wasn't sure if that was going too deep but we got one. Ooh, they're getting bigger. They fight so good. Such a cool fish. 
Hey, that's a nice one. Stoked with him. Come here. So good to be out in the sunshine catching these awesome Aussie bass. That new switch prawn has been getting it done. It was good to change over to the black. Had a couple of bites on the black. Super stoked. All right, let's get him back. No doubt, those assist hooks pin them so well. Got him. Whoa. Put a bit of drag that one. <laughs> Work through the bay across that other point and just come up to this point here and this guy clunked it. Don't you go in the weed. Do not go in the weed. Such strong fish. What have we got? Definitely a bass. Yeah, it's gotta be a bass. Just coughed up his breakfast, which is Little minnows, that's cool. Nice fish. Oh, so good. That's a fat one. That is a fat bass. Super chunky. Another bass on the switchblade. It's proving to be such a good lure. It's quite a dark fish, but that's probably just because the water's so clear. Awesome. So stoked. Such fun fishing. Came out reasonably easy, which is nice. Where he goes. Definitely had more success just fishing off the edge of the weed. I don't know whether that's because the sun's up and the fish are just sitting a little bit deeper. Got him. Oh, I saw that bite. That was so cool. <laughs> it was like sinking down. You see the braid just go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> that was awesome. Just a little guy, but so, so cool. <laughs> just goes to show you, like I've always liked using brightly colored braids, like that Pulse X4 being bright yellow, and you can just see everything that's going on aren't they just such a cool looking fish can i have my switch prawn black back thank you so good oh he's ready to go you go on What an awesome morning out on the lake. Bass are just so much fun to catch. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you all next time.